Young scientists, mathematicians, engineers, they're critical to our future. You guys are the ones who are going to define the contours of the 21st century. This is our fifth White House Science Fair, and every year I walk out smarter than I walked in. They actually look like this, vertically aligned carbon nanofibers. It is unbelievable what so many of these young people uh, have accomplished at such an early age. And you guys are the rocket team for what school? We're in the Christian Junior High School. Outstanding. It's a prototype. It's a prototype. It's a prototype. <laughs> it's a prototype. This is the one that was done professionally. Yeah. Thousands of dollars, right. lots of hours, and then I was able to do this one in about two minutes on my own. Even better. <laughs> We've got uh, Sofia uh, Sanchez uh, Maez, uh, and she's helping to bring the world closer to using algae as a clean, renewable, and even inexhaustible energy source. So, what I'm using this algae to do is purify wastewater and create energy. Harry Paul's here from. Port Washington, New York. Harry was born with a condition called uh, congenital scoliosis, a curvature of the spine. Uh, so he designed a new type of spinal implant. So Nikhil uh, Bahari is here from Pennsylvania. Where's uh, Nikhil? There's Nikhil. He is uh, he's a freshman, right, uh, in high school. Uh, interested in how we can better protect ourselves against hackers and data thieves online. So he collected all kinds of data about how a person types, uh, their speed, how often they pause, how much pressure they use, uh, built a special keyboard to test it, uh, and he proved that his hypo uh, hypothesis was correct. That even if somebody knows your password, they don't necessarily punch it in exactly the way you do. A big round of applause. Go take a look at their outstanding stuff. It's really great.